Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Nicholas Lion Rider, and as the title of this video shows, yeah, the poll was rigged. I'm just, I'm just gonna, call, I'm gonna call it as I see it. The poll was rigged. So if anyone isn't aware of what I'm even talking about, yesterday we got the official confirmation that the Africa Pack would be coming to Planet Zoo next week on June 22nd. And as they always do with all of these DLCs, we got a poll that was asking, hey, which animals do you want to see first? And not surprisingly, since this has happened the last three times they've done these polls, we had um, the headliner animal winning. Now you'd think, oh, well, maybe that's just because it's the most popular animal. But let's, fit, let's, let's back it up a little bit, because we already saw the meerkat in great detail. We saw it, it was the only animal we saw in video format. And on Steam, it was the only one that had multiple images related to the meerkat. And so we saw a good chunk of what the meerkat looks like. Regardless, it's very suspicious that the meerkat won with 27.2% um, of the vote entirely. Followed by the fennec fox, which, again, surprisingly, was the second most shown animal. But for some reason, the African penguin, an animal we had zero footage of, came in third place with the white rhino in fourth place but um so three out of four of these animals the white rhino the fennec fox and beer cat already had you know images of them shown off but the african penguin somehow lost now i, I just want to mention this just because we're going to get into the meerkat image in a second but the other posts that we've had and other polls we've had every time consistently have been rigged so the very first poll I think we had was for the aquatic pack, where the emperor penguin, or not the emperor penguin, the king penguin was the only one showcased in the trailer and shown off in many, many images. And yet, we didn't see the seal at the time, we didn't see the otter at the time, we didn't see the caiman at the time. And yet, surprising enough, oh, wanna know what won? the penguin and then even though we saw a little glimpse of the otter the otter is basically the equivalent of like the fennec fox in this case uh the otter came in second place and then we had to wait on the seal and the caiman which were basically the obvious choices to be showcased and shown off first and then last time we had in southeast asia we had eight animals and so the most likely animals that people would want to see should have been the Dole and the Binturong. And I remember for a long time, the Clouded Leopard and the Sun Bear were the ones that were winning. And we really had to like make a campaign to show off the Dole and the Binturong. Because, and so the Dole ultimately won, which was great because we actually got to see it. But the Binturong also um, was one that wasn't really shown off. And, well, we know what happened with the Binturong and why they didn't show it off. So, honestly, this all comes down to the fact I'm w a little hesitant on the African Penguin. I think the African Penguin will look really good, I'm hoping. But we technically don't quite know what it looks like. And I'm just worried it's like a similar situation to last time where they're trying to bury this because it's not done yet like the Binturong was. Um, cause, and as we saw, I guess Frontier didn't think the dole was done either, because we got a later patch to fix the dole as well. So, I don't know, th th these numbers and polls kinda, they're a little iffy to me, so, um, I just wanted to kinda talk about that quick, because it's a little suspicious, in my opinion. But, let's talk about the good news today, because we have a lot to talk about. So, uh, first things first, we need to address the Meerkat reveal, so... Uh, what can we look at with this image? So, the first thing is, obviously, the meerkat is good looking. It actually does look rather good. And this is the first time we've actually seen the baby meerkats. I do appreciate when they do this with the animal showcasing. I do like to see the babies, because that's just something that you normally wouldn't see in a trailer or something. But as you can see, the baby meerkats look adorable. I have no issue with them. They're all, like, you know, gathered with their mother. It looks good. You know, we we saw the meerkat in the trailer and stuff. It looks good. That's all I have to say about it. Um, we kind of even saw the burrowing mechanic. I, I don't know if that's what people thought they'd maybe see in today's image, but I kind of felt like that wasn't even going to be the case because I feel like we saw the best 
footage of burrowing we're gonna get until the launch trailer in that initial announcement trailer so um but you know i gotta say i love the meerkats they look really good i'm really excited they do dig that's gonna be awesome um the actual thing says meerkat packs have sentries that give alarms and warn the pack of pack mates of different predators so you know fun fact haha -ha, whoa yay um but what i'm more interested in is some of these other uh little things in the background so we have a couple of new things so these are new grass types and they look awesome so we are getting new foliage if anyone was maybe concerned even i was a little concerned uh based on some early news and stuff we are getting new foliage so as you can see here's some new grass types i believe this might even be a new palm tree believe it or not uh just based off the fronds of the palm and so I, I definitely am very, very excited for what we're going to be getting with this pack. So, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's not too much else to say about this image in particular, but we did get a lot of other really good news. So Tim Smith, uh, lead community manager at Frontier, I get kind of buried this post, but it's kind of really important. So he says, hello, hello, just wanted to share another bit of small information. Small bit of information, acting like this wouldn't be the biggest thing ever. I saw a few of you talking about basic building bits, and we have one or two things coming, but I'll leave it at this for now, but I'll leave, uh, but also leave this for you if you want to click on it. Mesh fences. We're getting mesh and chain link pieces officially in the game. So that one teaser image we saw of like what seemed like the trailer thing, did seem to indicate we were getting new chain link pieces so the mod is dead that is for sure a thing but yeah i am very very excited about the chain link and mesh pieces so the last thing i want to address and um this is just basically dedicated to my modding uh aspect of my channel if you have any modded content in your game right now it will break with the 1.6 update. I have talked to some of my insiders and stuff, and they have confirmed that mods are breaking. Now, we are working with some of them to, uh, who are going to remain anonymous, for obvious reasons. We are going to work to get a patch out to fix mods as soon as possible. So we're already working ahead of, uh, ahead of the game to get you that patch for next Tuesday. So, um... As a precaution, this is just a word of warning, if you are someone who likes to use modded content, please remove any modded scenery from your maps that you care about, and just uninstall any modded animals temporarily until we get everything sorted. I wouldn't want to, you know, have anyone lose a map they truly care about, especially now that mods are getting um, more and more used. I don't want you to lose any uh, maps due to this update. There were some fundamental engine changes with this update, which I could probably go into detail on a little bit later, um, which, because that means some things are definitely changing about Planet Zoo, so that'll be exciting to talk about in later detail. But for now, just try to remove all of those mods um, just so that you're ready for next Tuesday when mods will inevitably break again. Working on a fix as soon as possible. Jesse has already gotten seemingly everything decoded, so we should be good for that. But um, this is just a, a word of warning. But thank you all for watching today's video. As more updates and news come out, I will definitely be covering it on the channel. Once again, we're going to be looking at our next rigged animal, which is the Fennec Fox, which, haha, whoa, you can look at right here. Look, oh god, Fennec Fox image early, whatever. But uh, I'm really excited for the African Penguin. That's, what, that's the one I'm waiting on. But thank you all for watching today's video, and I will see you next time.